I'm also born and raised here. Um, I'm actually Puerto Rican, but uh, very long time celebrating with my wife this at least for Dia de los Muertos, but as well in my culture, and not always celebrated, but come from origins of West Africa and also around Orishas, uh, Mayamundas, and um, Aduares. Um, and so my family comes from a generation of, of members, not only from Spain, obviously, but people forget also of Taino um, heritage and descendants and Afro descendants. And uh, my grandma spoke not only Spanish, but spoke something called Negro, uh, which is poet, the poems that were celebrated and done in both a Spanish and um, West African, um, Yoruban and indigenous. And they combine in order to tell their stories and communicate with each other, uh, pretty much for not only to protect their, their people, our people, but also to pass down generation. Uh, Negro poetry is not used much, it's very rare, even in Puerto Rico. Um, but we forget that in all our cultures, we have some way of celebrating life. And, and death is not the end for many in our thinking. It is a way to move forward. Um, and so it's, for me, it's a great honor to always have these kind of cultural and traditions uh, particularly on land where from here to here we're connected um, and so I appreciate us being invited and being here and we hope you can also enjoy what we'll be having tomorrow um, which is a yearly celebration and we thank Campos Garden for um, not only adopting it but making it a, a very family oriented and community event um, as well as we thank that you're able to bless and be here with us too with this event because um, we think this garden is very unique in the sense of how it brings in everyone and thinks about others.